what's going on everybody today is uh december the 26th uh, day after christmas i am headed up to indiana uh picked uh, one more for the year It'll be my last one i haul this year um and it's going to uh picking up in middlebury indiana going to dover florida camping world i called to make sure that it was going to be open uh, hopefully they're going to kick it off Tuesday morning and then, you know, head back for the rest of the year because everybody's going to be closed on Friday for New Year's. And this one is paying $1.71. It is 1,160 miles. And I like hauling this, this brand camper. Well, I've hauled two of them. I've never had no problems with them. If I was going to buy one, I'd have to check them out, I guess, more, but just the way it hauls and everything, it's a kind of a heavy camper, what I've hauled in the past, but it's a 37-foot Bighorn Edition. Usually they're heavy, but to me, if you're gonna buy a camper, uh, heavy is where you want, you know, you pretty much know it's gonna be made good anyway. But uh, hope everybody had a good Christmas, good New Year's, um, and uh, I did had fun taking a couple days off and then i'm gonna haul this one like i said kick it off go back home take a few more days off and then i'm gonna run a couple more and then we're going after the dog still have not come up with a name for him yet but the time y'all watch this i've already had him introduced and the name will be out there i'm gonna pick the name uh introduce it when i on my way to go get him make a little video out there just introduce him because he gonna be in a truck with my little riding sandwich making holding up cameras for me i reckon but uh we're going up here to get some fuel in glendale kentucky we're about 53 miles from here and gonna get some fuel and then head on up to middlebury pick up the camper hopefully no issues and get back uh just wanted to let y'all know what we're getting started with this will be my last one that i run this year and then take off a few days but uh, just throwing it out there. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and everybody, Santa Claus room, everybody what they wanted and all that good stuff. Well, I'm gonna get down here and get some fuel and let's get up to Indiana, and see what we get into. All righty, here she is. We gotta do a walk around, make sure ain't no damage. Uh, but I was wanting to, the jump box that I had bought, that I done a video on. All right, batteries go right here. They don't have one. All righty. If you have the jump box and your battery is dead, which does happen if a camper doesn't charge or whatever, uh, you can use the jump box to get loaded and then put your dead battery in here. And when you're driving to let this camper charge your dead battery so i figured that right there would be something definitely comes in handy because there's been a few times uh that uh, i have had to wait an hour or so just to try to get enough power to get loaded i've had problems with that in the past so not only will the jump box help you with if your truck does not start but it's also going to help you if your uh, battery is dead and you can't get your camper loaded. So I'm fixing to walk around, start hooking stuff up. And I actually was gonna do that just to show you in the video, but it's a little too wet and cold and I maybe another time. But uh, I'm gonna get, look, check everything out. And if I find any damage, I'll let you know. All righty, I wanted to show you all this. Some of the stuff you have to deal with. All right. Guess whoever was on the assembly line was very bored. You see all the screws I've already taken out. They have stuck screws all the way around the boxes. You know, they got holes right here where, you know, every once in a while they'll put one in it, maybe two. But somebody was so bored that not only they put one in where it's supposed to go, but you can see there's holes beside them. 
they wanted to put extra ones. The screws all the way around this thing. So, how oh, you got to take all these screws out. And all I got the screwdriver's going to take a little bit to get however many screws they got in here out. But that's just something that's unnecessary that uh, um, you, you have to deal with. I was just wanting to show y'all that. But I think I'm gonna look, see if I can't find a little small Milwaukee screwdriver battery packet. Make it a whole lot easier. I didn't want to go over this. All right, just hooked up. And you see, the jaws are locked. But the handle would not go all the way in on the fifth wheel you can see where it's got the lever and the lever wasn't all the way in if this moon don't go in there or you can lock it in the one thing about this handle it's going to show a little bit of red over here so that is something to look look at very careful because took me about three times back and forth to get the lock even though it looked like it was locked it really wasn't so make sure if you're hooking up that handle is all the way in very important all righty everything so far looks good the fishing raise the legs up and uh put tailgate up put the electricity on the cord on and we're getting out of here all righty well we got everything hooked up and uh this one's not as heavy as uh uh the last one i hauled it was i think about the same i think the last one i hauled was like sixteen thousand, but this one ain't but uh twelve thousand four hundred and eighty two so that's gonna be good it's not as heavy as i thought so it should be you know good little riding i found the paperwork inside the door the uh the keys were in the water heater and uh, uh, we got everything put together, everything looks right. So we're going to start a log book and we're fishing the head out. And uh, we're going to see what we can't get into. All righty, we're getting on 465 here in Indianapolis. Um, and I did forget to mention this. And I got about half of them screws out down the sides and the front where I can lift it up. I noticed that it already had a battery in it. But y'all seen I barely moved that thing. And uh, the battery on it was extremely lightweight. But that still was a lot of screws to put in there. Somebody bought one and moved all them screws. Looking like they come up with something a little bit better than that. But I put uh, most of the screws back and uh, everything fired up on it had to find the, the power had two cut off switches on it a lot of them do on the big fifth wheels like that so turn the power on got it uh got it loaded up and you know we roll it but uh also there is uh ow there is uh if uh, you leave a uh, trying to fix y'all here. All right, if you leave a comment and I don't hit a thumbs up on it or get back with you, I've noticed that some of my comments are not coming up and giving me a notification that I have a comment. I've, I've noticed when I went back to look, just to scan through, I found uh, several of them that uh, I didn't see it popped up, no notification or anything. And as you can see, it is a cloudy, dreary day. So if I don't get to your notification, uh, maybe try to send another one. If you have a question or something, I didn't respond. Because I try to respond to all of them that, that I can in the same day that I get them. Uh, but I'm not ignoring you or anything like that. I just didn't get the notification. Uh, man, 
people are look <laughs> people are driving crazy dang I guess everybody's ready to return get Christmas gifts or getting ready for New Year's Eve or something I don't know but they driving crazy and I got a funny feeling it's gonna be like that all the way to all the way to Florida so but that's all right we're gonna take our time we're gonna get it down there and everything and this camper is pulling good it was uh like it was a little bit lighter than what I thought it was gonna be so it is doing good but I was wanting to let them know about the battery thing they must use some kind of the ones that come with batteries different because I barely moved that thing and it felt like the box was empty but when I got into it, it, it wasn't. And everything all juiced up, powered up. And that's one thing about that jump box when I was telling y'all that I was wanting to do it. And I will do it in a video just to show you that it, because I mean, if you go check in the RV, that's what they use. They use a jump box. If if you don't have if they, you want to use their own if they don't use your battery that's what they do put a jump box on it but like the uh, a couple other guys I, I was talking to and they have uh, they have come up with a situation like I have where you get there and the, the camper didn't charge the battery or something it's a whole lot easier than sitting there trying to get that battery charged up get enough electricity to it to get loaded or unloaded or you can just throw that jumper box on it turn it on so i think i'm gonna like it a whole lot i think that was a good investment now i work on getting my own board air put in i found one online that uh i'm checking out i think i'm gonna like come with two air compressors so the air compressor i have on my trucks now for my airbags I'll take it off and uh, put it up and it, it comes with two air compressors it's chrome been nice if I could find it in red but it's chrome uh, put up underneath the truck and that is going to be a project I am going to tackle as soon as the weather breaks a little bit so that's something a video I'll be making when that comes out but we're gonna ride down here, probably stop in Glendale, uh, ride with somebody else up here. And they don't, we wanted to go to Glendale to get some fuel. They're about out, so get some fuel and head uh, head out and see what we can't get into. See if we can't find something exciting to put on here. Alrighty, uh, we are here at Camping World, and it's December the 28th. It's 81 degrees out here. Ooh, she a little on the warm side, but I like it. I like a whole, warm, a whole lot better than cold. This was 1,160 miles, paying $1.71, and total pay was 1,983 dollars and 60 cents. Now, uh, one of the um, on the the slides. One of the rubbers was coming off the slide before we got here. That is uh, not, not going to be driver damage because uh, that happens a lot. And I'm just going to show you. So that way, if it happens with you, don't worry about it. Don't panic. And also, I don't know if you can tell, but like I said, I'm, I'm loving these rims. But I don't know if you can tell the video because of the sun. But my truck just got a wash before I picked this load up. This thing is nasty. Kind of hard to tell. Maybe if I get over here in the shade, you might be able to see it. But that's one thing about these rims, I can already tell. She's gonna start being a dirty girl. But here she is, right here. I gotta put up the, the wires I just pulled out from underneath it. But uh, right back here in the back. Well. I think it done blew, blew off. There was right here, let me back up a little bit, right there on the side, 
right in here. The rubber was hanging down. It may have opened up and went back in, but it is now. I don't mess with it. I don't cut them off or anything like that because uh, I don't want to be responsible for it and they try to blame it on me. But this one here was a good riding trailer. Uh, I'm glad to get it off. I'm glad to uh, head back toward the house. Alrighty, that is going to wrap this video up. Um, and if y'all have questions and it pertaining to logbook, look the link down below. Grab the uh, email, and I'd rather not answer a whole lot of logbook questions on here. I have a couple, but I'd just rather not. Just uh, send me an email, and uh, that way I can answer it honestly and and try to help out as best as I can on it. Uh, but I'm ready to get this one checked in. I think there was three here in front of me and get my butt back to Tennessee. So y'all be careful out there. Y'all be safe. This is the last video of the year. Start off, I'm gonna pick one in two days to leave out with. Probably gonna run a couple of Floridas back and forth just because we're getting ready to go get the dog. Uh, so y'all be careful out there, y'all be safe, and I'll see you in the next one.